welcome back to my channel so I know I've been gone for a little while but I did want to film this video on products that I basically regret buying I see this video all over YouTube and I just want to say as everyone else says in their videos I'm not trying to say that any brands that I mentioned in this video are bad brands or they have like shitty quality because that's not true I just feel like every brand has those really really great products and then there's sometimes those flawed products and not every brand has the most perfect products ever so without further ado I'll just jump right in some of these products might actually come to a surprise to you guys the fact that I don't like them because I have mentioned a couple of them in my videos and I was like oh my god I love this product I'm human like everyone else and I do change opinions sometimes I find that things break me out or in the long run it just doesn't end up working out for me and I'm sorry that sometimes I do recommend things to you guys and in the end I really don't like them myself but there are times where I do mention it and I'm like okay you remember that product I mentioned like five years ago yep no no not good so the first product I want to mention to you guys is a face primer and this is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I've had this for a while as you can see, I've used a lot of it, but what I find with this is that it doesn't really do anything for my skin. I don't feel like it really primes my skin, all it does is kind of like make it feel not not greasy but a little bit on the slippery side so once I apply my foundation I find that it really just doesn't stick to my skin which I really don't like it does really smell good I think that's the only plus about this but and other than the packaging is like super cute I don't know I think it's super cute but yeah um usually with makeup products I tend to take them back return them anywhere I bought them just because it takes up a lot of space and it doesn't make sense to keep something that I don't like unless I'm doing like a review I'll hold on to it for a little bit but other than that I'll definitely most likely be returning it the next two products I want to talk about are um, face powders and the first one is the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder this is what it looks like it's just a white powder I absolutely hate this thing it is so bad like you guys know when people talk about flash photography and like if you use certain powders underneath your eye you look like a ghost this does that and it does it so bad like I've tried the makeup for everyone and that does it also but this does it 10 times worse and I don't actually like the way it photographs like in light in flash well in flash it's, oh my god it's just fucking terrible but I just don't like it in general um the only reason why I didn't return this was because I lost the receipt and I also threw out the box. So, yeah, I don't like this and I actually don't like the press version. So the next thing is this NARS... What is this? It's a face powder and I have mine in the shade Beach. I absolutely do not like these powders. They have no coverage. I usually use this powder underneath my eye. Um, but I don't like it. Like, it doesn't do anything. Um, and I know a lot of people use this as a face powder, but you really have to dig into this product to get anything out of it. Um, so I don't know how people use this for their face. I just, I don't know. It's so off, weird, and super thin. It's not very blendable either. I'm not a fan of the face powders by Mars. At least the ones that come like this. I don't know about the rest. So these products right here are ones that I absolutely hate. Please do not waste your money on these. These are the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palettes. I have the shade Light and then the shade Medium. I haven't even opened Medium because I did try Light as you guys can probably see. I don't know how well you can tell but like I used this shade. I tried to contour with this. I used this to cover my eyebrows. Absolutely hate this. This is like it. It's just like, it feels like wax and nothing comes up. Like, it's just a really difficult product to work with. These are not blendable at all. I tried the contour to contour my face and I don't even want to talk about it. It was terrible. The next product I want to talk about is the MAC Studio Sculpt foundation and this has a SPF of 15. So this is what the foundation looks like. I have mine in the shade NC30. Um, I don't like this because the undertone to it is very, very off. 
Um, when I apply this, I look like the Grinch. Legit, I look like the Grinch. It makes me look green and like dead. I have no idea what's in this foundation, but it sucks. Like, I hate this so much. Um, I don't know why I didn't return it a long time ago, but I've had this for... I want to say almost a year and I've never, I think I've used it like two or three times and those two or three times I was like, oh my god, I look disgusting, like my face looks so old and so like weird and green. Uh, not a go for me. The next couple of things I want to talk about are highlighters. Now my first one may come as a surprise to a lot of people, but it is the Bombs Mary Luminizer Highlight. This is what it looks like. I really don't like this product. I'll tell you why. I don't know how girls my color or darker than me use this. This is super stark on your cheeks no matter how much you blend this out. If you are darker than me or around my skin complexion, I don't know how this works because I've tried it countless amount of times. It's just very, very stark and pale looking on the skin. It's a beautiful highlight, don't get me wrong. The color is absolutely beautiful, but I can't pull this off. And I've tried to, like, I have a friend who's darker than me and she's tried to use this and it looks so, like, stark. Like, I can see where her highlight and weird and stand out and it actually emphasizes a lot of your pores. Um, so I don't like this. I do like the texture of it. It is very smooth and creamy, but I don't like it on my skin tone or for anyone else who's darker. My next regrets are actually things that might come as a surprise to a lot of people. It's the Anastasia um, Illuminators. I don't like these and I wanted to so bad. The only ones that I can stand are So Hollywood and Riviera just because they are gorgeous colors. Um, this is what they look like. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it like legit everywhere because they just don't stop bothering you about these illuminators. Um, they were sent to like the bigger YouTubers as PR and I don't even know how they like them. They're so chunky, so glittery, just not what I like in a highlight. For me in a highlight and I think for a lot of people like you like a sheen, something that really glows and this is like sparkle. This kind of reminds me of like little girl makeup because it's so chunky i will tell you that the colors are beautiful though the actual design on these illuminators make it really hard to even pick up product i know that um norvina mentioned in like her snapchat and on her instagram that the design on this makes it easier to pick a product no girl it's super difficult to pick up product um i use a fan brush I'm pretty sure a lot of people use fan brushes and it's really, really hard to pick this up. I feel like it just works best with my fingers and I actually did order the brush that came out with the whole collection and I do really like that brush but still it's really hard to pick up this product. So, here's my word, I don't feel like they were worth the hype at all so save your money. Next product I have is a cult favorite but I actually really don't like this. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, this is the regular one that came out a really long time ago. I want to say like a year or two ago um, and everyone was going crazy on this. Actually, I don't like any of these shades. The only one that I did use a lot was this banana shade, um, but still I don't feel like it's the best. Like I've definitely seen a lot better. The Kat Von D one is 10 times better than this. And I found that all of these contour shades broke me out so bad, like, in this area. And I really don't even like this highlighter. Like, that's really not a highlighter. I feel like they're very chalky and just weird. And they don't really look that great on the skin. They're not super blendable. Like, the contour shades aren't super blendable. So, I never really got the hype on this contour kit. Three lip products that I want to mention to you guys are... Um, they're all liquid lipsticks and they're just formulas or colors that I really don't like. So the first one is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is what they look like. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I have a couple of them and I will tell you that the only ones I have a lot of trouble with and it's super, like the application just isn't even, are the nude ones. So I have this one in Celebrity Skin and it's so hard to get full pigmentation out of these. Um, but I do have another one. The color is super pretty though. 
um, it's just really really hard to work with on the lips I do have another one that is very bright it's like an orange shade it's called Anna Nicole and that one works amazingly like the pigmentation on that is so even it's not chalky at all it doesn't like skip on my lips but I find that the nude ones do another product I regret is the LA Splash Cosmetics uh, lip couture and these are the waterproof liquid lipsticks when they say that these things are waterproof they're not kidding this thing sucks the life out of my lips and usually I have very plump lips I have very um, my, my lips are almost never dry they don't really get dry they're very soft very smooth they don't peel a lot but this oh my god my lips go crazy they start peeling and cracking everywhere this seeps into my lines and I barely have any um but yeah I just really don't like this I really do love the color selection though I have a couple of them and I love the colors I just I can't stand one the smell because um, they smell like paint and two they're just super drying and it's so hard to take these things off my last regret is the dose of colors sand liquid lipstick it came out in the Terra collection this year during IMAX I got it and I do really like the other shades that come in it. it's brick and stone but sand I just can't make it work it's super nude so I definitely can't wear this by itself but I've come to terms with that I was okay with that I was like you know what I can pair this with different lippies like I can just lighten it up in the center if I wanted to but no every time I use this it makes the ugliest like crease in my mouth like okay you guys know when you eat like salad or something and all the like like let's say you're eating a Caesar salad or something and all of it gets stuck like in the inner rim of your lips this is what this does and it's so gross like it looks gross when you're talking to someone it looks gross on camera I think I filmed a video with this in the center of my lips and you can see like all the it was just disgusting I can't even deal with it um, but yeah, this is the only color that I just really, really do not like. Um, and it's very chalky also, even though it's like a liquid, it just skips a lot. Yeah, I know nudes can be really tricky, but this one just doesn't do it for me, and I don't like it. So that's it for this video. Like I said, some of these products may work for you guys, and that's great. I hope they really do because then that means you didn't waste money like I did. Um, but yeah, if they did work for you or if you have any regrets yourself, just please let me know because I'd love to know. Um, there are quite a few things that I have returned because I do not like them that I have told you guys that I like. That was pretty long. So this was kind of my way to tell you guys or like keep you guys updated of the things I've recommended in the past but that like I really don't like, you know. Things happen, you know. That's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it as always. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.